Ever since the release of Jurassic Park, the fate of Dennis Nedry's modified Barbasol can has long been speculated. Even though we see it fall from his person and roll down a hill before being covered in mud, many people have wondered if we would ever get to see it make a return in any sequel that Spielberg planned on making. Of course, this never happened, and the can's storyline was pretty much discontinued as soon as Nedry had his run-in with one of Jurassic Park's Dilophosaurus. Due to the fact that the can is shown being buried on a tropical island, we're left to assume that the embryos died rather quickly quickly, especially since Nedry only had an 18 minute window to catch up with the docks. The can he'd try to smuggle the dinosaurs out with only had enough cooling in it to keep the embryos viable for 36 hours, meaning that if the can couldn't make it off of the island within that allotted time frame, the heist would be a failure. Now, even though we never got a follow-up on the can's survival from Nublar in movie form, we actually did get a continuation of the first movie that revolves around the canister's whereabouts entirely. The storyline of Jurassic Park The Game begins midway through the events of the original Jurassic Park, and features a hired mercenary and a Biosyn agent sneaking onto the island after Nedry fails to deliver the embryos to the East Dock. It was originally created to be a canon story that would tie in to not only the first film, but also The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3. And I can remember the trailer dropping for this game in the early part of this decade and getting really upset to hear the iconic roar of the T-Rex replaced with the roar of the Rex from Dino Crisis. No joke, this kind of pissed me off the first time I saw the trailer, and even though they fixed it later on, it left a bad taste in my mouth and steered me clear from ever attempting to try the game out at all. I guess the marketing team behind the project felt like the roar of a Dino Crisis dinosaur would be more welcome than that of the Tyrannosaurus from Jurassic Park. It was back in 2011, and needless to say, Jurassic Park had kind of become a joke by then. There hadn't been a movie in 10 years, and the last one that came out really didn't sit well with most audiences, and both Lost World and the first film were kind of getting beat up a lot too. But with the release of Jurassic World, the series was successfully revived, and a huge amount of interest has been shot into the arm of this franchise most people thought died out a long time ago. With that being said, I figured I'd go through the events of this story for the first time on the channel. Now, I have never played this game before and stayed far away from any information on its plot in order to enjoy it as much as I can the way it was originally intended. I'm going to be going through the game in its entirety for you guys and hope to find a really great story that I think may have gotten overlooked by many upon its initial release. Not going to lie, I'm pretty excited to see what this game has to offer. This has been one of the most requested things that I tackle on the channel, so I figured I'd show my initial response directly from my experiences with the game. After 25 years of no solid answer and 7 years since it was first released, I'm finally taking the time to give Jurassic Park the game a chance. Now let's find out what happened to that can of shaving cream.
so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've stayed away from this thing for years, so we'll see how it goes. That's the Jurassic Park music. I tried to turn this thing as down as much as I could. Hope I don't get copyrighted for some bullshit reason. Hello. Yeah, it's a great view, but where are the dinosaurs? There should be Triceratops out there. Sometimes they're kind of hard to spot. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get those? Uh, these? Yeah, those. That, um, guy gave them to me, your boss, John Hammer, or whatever. He likes me. That was generous of him. Yeah. Um, what are you insinuating? I see jungle and stuff, but no dinos. Just look around. You'll find them. Hey, there's a zoom thingy on here. Hey, there's a dinosaur shaking a tree. Ah, forget it. Just some birds. What's that little bunker building? Just a maintenance shed. For dinosaurs that need repairs? Yeah, sure. We like to keep them tuned up, you know. Does that shed have a bunch of broken lawnmowers in it like our old shed? Those weren't broken. They were undergoing restoration. Hmm. Wait, wait, I definitely see one. Oh, he just ran away. Actually, it's a she. They're all female. So which way did she go? Hmm. Wouldn't it be, like, educational if I stuck around here another day or two? You know, I think your mom might miss you a bit. Are you kidding me? She'd be, like, totally happy. Oh, come on. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, she would. There's a bunch of, like, dinosaur footprints around that plant. Our Triceratops are big fans of banana leaf. They're probably nearby. They're relying heavily on the first film for this game. The footprints go in the stream. Sure. The Triceratops went in for a dip. She must have come out somewhere. Uh, very heavily on the feel. Okay, right here. Oh, hello. There's a car down there. Must be Hammond's visitors. He's got some hotshot paleontologists here to see the park. I bet they get to see some dinos up close. We should totally be down there. <laughs> I wonder if Grant's in the game. There's footprints coming out of the stream. You're on the right track. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay, I see her. Wait. There's a bunch of them. Oh, awesome. They're fighting. I totally wanted to see this. Well, actually, it's more of a dominance display than a fight. You remember how patchy was when your mom got that new puppy? Lady Margaret's like that with the younger Triceratops. Seriously? Lady Margaret? Yep, that's what we call the Alpha. See those horns? They're more than three feet long. Good for fighting T-Rex, right? When do we get to see that? <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm busy <laughs> enough without holding gladiator fights. Which reminds me, remember I said I've got a sick Triceratops to check on? I should get going. I'll drop you at the guest house. Huh. Really? Already? Well, it'll give you some time to pack your stuff. The boat leaves tonight, remember? I don't have any stuff. I practically just got here. Well, at least you gotta see Triceratops fight. Actually, it was more like a dominance display. Smart ass. Come on, let's go. So, what's up for clear skies tonight? No fun on that boat when the waves are rough. What happened to Jerry's mustache? Did he, like, grow one in 30 seconds? Because he's I going told to. You, Nedry isn't uh, here. Whatever. Bad bastard's probably stuck in a doorway somewhere. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Plan B is ready. I have Plan B right here. Nedry's not going to double cross us. The money's too good. No, she doesn't know your name. She doesn't know anything she doesn't need to know. What, do you think it matters? Hey, guess who's on the line? It's Dodgson. I got Dodgson here. She doesn't care. Oh, God. Cheesy. Come on. My contact's going to be here any minute. All right. Does Ingen know you stole their jacket? This is a covert op. I gotta blend in. Yes, yeah, so what about me? Just, uh, follow my lead. What's in the photo? This? 
This is what's gonna make us both rich. It's what we're here to collect. Shaving cream. Uh-huh, sure. Shaving cream. He's gonna die. What the hell? This Damn. storm is only gonna get worse. Just relax. Chances are Nedry's gonna show up All at the last minute. Son of a... Okay, I guess we're going in after him. If anyone stops us, show him this... this. What's the problem? We need access passes to get past security. Damn it, Dutch. I gotta make a phone call to an idiot. Don't let anyone see you. Without those passes, we're cooked. Okay. So they sent in more people to come pick up the canister. That makes a lot of sense. Pesado. Just keep thinking about the money. Okay. Hmm. All right. One eight three two. Okay, cool. All right, I know what to do. That's great. Thanks a lot. Very helpful. We're hosed. Maybe not. What do you mean? I got the guard's phone number. Call him and keep him busy. What, then you sneak past and I stay here? Well, that's not gonna work. No, Baboso. I can get us the <laughs> access passes. Fine. What should I tell him? One, eight, Just uh, keep him talking. That wasn't even close. Uh, hi, hi, Whatever. yes. Uh, I'm calling for payroll. Uh, we've lost some data here, and it's a bit of an emergency. Uh, I need you to give me some information. No, no, like I said, I work the morning shift. Got him. Yeah, but hold on. There's one more... Hey! I thought you said... Oh. Okay, that was good, but... Hey, hey, hold on a second. You work for me, remember? That means I hold call the shop. You can't go that way. Hello there. Hi. Uh, uh, we have passes. Well, that's good. This is a storm evacuation. All non-essential personnel need to leave the island. You need to get on that boat. Yes. I, I mean, I, I have some, uh, some essential... Who are you with? I'm, I'm with you. I'm new. What about her? She's, she's, uh, she's with maintenance. <clears throat> Go ahead, tell him. Okay, uh, that one. I do repairs. In this storm? What exactly are you fixing? Mm. Uh, electrical wiring. It's gonna short out from the rain if I don't take care of it. What's with the machete? Oh, shit, uh... It's a good tool. All purpose. Cutting, pounding, you name it. All aboard now. This means you, Barney. I don't have time for this. Do you vouch for her? What? I said, do you vouch for her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move your butts. Next time, you better let me do the talking. Stay hmm. going, us. <laughs> well. A little less Jurassic least, Park in some of these places. The rain's easing up. A little more Avatar. Oh, Ingen should have like. paved this whole island. Ingen should never have come here. What? Step back, Mr. Chadwick. What? You don't like my aftershave? I don't want any accidents. What? <laughs> Finally, gameplay, and it's riveting. The jungle's dancier. 
the whole game is like this? Interesting. So, Nedry should be shutting off the power around now if he hasn't already done so. For going by the film. But then again, Jerry should have a mustache. So, I don't know. I don't know how close this actually is to canon. This is becoming. What is this monster? Very interesting. Engine is ruining the island. Is it so important to keep people out? Uh, it's more about keeping things in. J no, just this. It, it just, it's sort of like a zoo, you know what I mean? A zoo? For what? Don't, don't worry about it. There's nothing, you know, dangerous in there. Just find, find a way through. What does your little toy have to say? It's a portable tracking system, sweetheart. And it says that we're damn close to that canister. 10,000 volts? Why so much? Probably just trying to keep out the teenagers. Hmm. All right. Another nod to the original? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I bet that means the power's out, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies first. What a tick. Oh, come on. <gasps> oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, it's just... Lead the way. This is an interesting story, though. I've wondered whatever happened to that can. Obviously, it... Whoa, okay. All right, nice. I've wondered what happened to it ever since it fell in the mud. Obviously, those embryos won't last forever. What is it? That's a big-ass es footprint. Not back at all. Like a bird. But much too big. I, I told you, it's a zoo. All kinds of animals. Come on, get moving. We're close. Did you hear that? Oh, shit. What was that? An animal. Something I've never heard before. Okay, well, let's. We, we should. Oh God! That animal, I know. We call him Mokupa. I hate this damn jungle. Look, this way. This is it. The signal's topped out. It's nearby. It's too dark. I need light. Where's your flashlight? You took it. Right, right. Did I drop it? Did you see me drop it? Damn it. Over there. There we go. <laughs> nice. Hey, Nedry! You get stuck or something? Nedry, you deaf? I'm not climbing that in my new Stavalis. Okay, I'm gonna go around. It'll be faster. Uh, what button? Okay. There we go. Somebody in there? I don't know if we should uh, investigate any further. All right. 
<laughs> uh, this will be fun. Tired out, huh? I told you it was better to go around. Something just jumped me. He was on your friend here. Oh, that's disgusting. There was something feeding on him. What the hell kind of zoo is this? Listen, I told you, don't worry about it, okay? It was it was just some animal. We'll get the canister and then we're out of here. Where is it? I can't find it! Where's the canister? The shaving cream, where is it? How should I know? If it's not in the car, it could be anywhere within 300 meters! Crap! Oh, Dodson's gonna kill me. Is Dodson gonna kill me? Don't worry about him. <laughs> worry about that thing. I'm worried about it, okay? What am I supposed to do? You know we can't go back empty-handed. Look there. Look where? Look, Prince. Your man took a walk. We follow his trail like tracking game. That's how we find the canister. Right. Okay, okay, that makes sense. But, but hold on. What if one of those, uh... Oh, okay, you look down there and I'll I'll check the car again. Just, uh... Just, just in case. Yeah, what a pussy. Alright guys, I think that's a good spot to end it for this part of the series. One of my favorite things about this game so far is the pacing and attention to detail at making it as similar to its source material as humanly possible, or at least as possible as it was for 2011. I mentioned that sometimes the game can feel a little similar to the movie Avatar for me, and I don't really know why. Maybe it has something to do with the lead mercenary character reminding me of Michelle Rodriguez, and she was in that movie back when it was still being talked about all the time. The coolest thing I've picked up on as of now is Miles' line about Dodson killing him. That's a pretty blatant reference to Lewis Dodson's behavior in the Lost World novel by Michael Crichton, where he actually throws Sarah Harding off the side of a boat before they even reach Site B. Dotson's role in the film series has always been downplayed, seeing as he's only present in the first movie, so getting this little easter egg of sorts in the game really impressed me. I'm currently having fun with the story for what it is at the moment. Sure, it's got some weird things that don't really make sense, but I'll say it's better than nothing. I'm not a fan of point-and-click games, but I'm not going to let anything Jurassic get by me again, especially something like this that has so much potential. Now before I go, I want to give a special thanks to my new game warden, Donut Guy, as well as my engine executives Jack Barnett, George, Luis, Rob, David, and Flower Bro. Your names are going to be added into the credits of my videos from now on. I also want to say thanks to all of our new park workers and engine hunters that have given me awesome loving support on Patreon. Joshua, Michael McLaughlin, and Mikhail Nilsson, it seriously means a lot to have this level of support that you all have shown me. There's no way that I could thank you enough for how awesome all of you guys are. And with that being said, I want to take the time to thank you all for watching this video and hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you think that I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.